Hey, 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 hey. I am coming in to do another video. I am getting even more excited. I come home in two days. So I woke up a little bit early this morning and I had started packing a little bit this weekend. Um, but I decided um, this morning when I had some extra time that I was going to do a little bit more packing. So um, right now I'm just lounging in the room. Um, this week it's been raining. Um, so it's been raining um, quite a bit. So this evening, um, me and my co-workers just came back. We ordered out Thai and I am um, just chilling out. So let me show you kind of how my luggage situation is looking. Um, I think I'm doing pretty good. I think I'm going to have to reorganize a couple of things, but I'll show you what I got. So over there, I got just like my little suitcase um with some stuff in it and then there's my big suitcase and um i got a little souvenir bag and i got another souvenir bag in the other room that um i'm gonna have to factor into the situation then um if y'all recall my first video i had my big ford bag so i'm put some stuff like the heavy heavy stuff i'm gonna put in that and then I got my big purse, so I'm going to put my purse down in there because, you know, they only allow you to have two carry-ons. So, what I usually do is I just take my purse, put it down in that fort bag, and then I have my laptop case. That's over there. So, that's my other carry-on. So, that allows me to um, take other things. Um, so, just wanted to show y'all that. Um, also, I wanted to talk about some of the different things um, that I've kind of noticed or picked up, um, what I would do differently when I come. So, um, me and my coworker were talking this week about when we're coming back. So, we will be coming back in the middle of January. Um, so, I'll be home for about a month before I have to come back here. So this morning when I was packing some of my stuff up, I said, Shayla, you did overpack. I didn't overpack too much because I didn't go crazy. Um, but there were things that I packed that I didn't use. Like, I didn't, I brought like casual clothes, but I didn't really wear them. Or I had a pair of shoes that I only wore like once or twice. I probably could have did away with that. Um, so... There was that, and then, you know, I was a, I wanted to make it a little bit more homey, so I had brought candles and stuff like that, so I was like, Shayla, next time, you can leave that at home. I did bring, like, my own blanket, and I'm happy I brought that, because it was really nice. When I'm at home, I have an electric blanket on my bed, and I love that. Now here, they don't have an air conditioner and they don't have, they don't have like centralized air or heating. So you don't have an air conditioner, you don't have a heater. You open a window to get a breeze in, they give you fans, you can put the fans in and then they have like an electric heater. Um, and I have a tendency at times to get cold. So at night I kind of been running my heater. So what I'll do is I take my blanket, I'll throw it on top of the heater, let it get warm and then I pull it off, put it on top of me, and tuck it around myself. So I'm kind of trying to make up for my electric blanket not having that. I will definitely be looking forward to turning that on when I get home. Um, but there's that. The bathroom, I will say, has a heated towel rack. So you can turn it on and warm your towels up, but... The thing is, is you have to know probably like an hour in advance that you're about to take a shower, turn the heated towel rack on. So by the time you take your shower, you get out, you got a warm towel. Um, so it's a nice feature, but I've probably used that towel rack like once and turn it on with the heat or whatnot. Um, 
something I'll say about the bathroom. The toilets flush differently. Now, I like the way the toilets flush here because it seems like you get a better water flow than you do in the U.S., which, yeah, it's odd I'm talking about the toilet, but I'm going to go ahead and touch on it. Um, so I like the way that the toilets flush, but it seems that they don't smell as fresh. Um, so I will be making sure that I have the spray Lysol so I can spray the toilet bowl. Um, now the bathrooms, the public bathrooms are fairly nice. They always smell cool, clean, and you know, all that stuff, but, um, yeah. So there's that. Um, not too much else to note about my room um pretty basic not a whole lot there um let's see when i when you when you're here they drive on the left side of the road um so that's different getting used to i have not been driving my co-workers have been driving um they joke about having me drive but i'm scared to drive so I will let them do the chauffeuring. So um, they drive on the left side of the road here. Oh, excuse me. The um, driver is on the right side of the car. So they have that. Things that they say different here. The elevator is the lift. The restrooms is the toilet. Um, instead of I'm going to call you or call me. They say, I'm going to ring you, ring me. Um, if you want something to go, it's take away. Um, what else do they say? Um, oh, it's a whole bunch of stuff I've heard. Um, I can't think of it now, but I had some stuff. Um, but anyways, let me tell y'all about yesterday. So yesterday it was an event figuring out something to eat. First of all, where they have us at is um, I met my clients. They have a scan center. So they have us in a room in the scan center. Um, so there's not any restaurants or anything like that in in there so you either bring your food or you have to walk up the hill and go into the hospital um and use their they have a cafeteria and a couple of little eateries in there so first of all i hate climbing that hill now I was hoping that by the time I get back, it would be, well, by the time, you know, we got finished here, it would be easier to climb that hill. But y'all, I climbed that hill today twice and it seemed harder the second time around. So I'm not too much looking forward to coming back and having to haul up that hill. But anyways, um, yesterday we decided, well, Let's try something different than what's in the hospital. Let's try. They got a little strip right across the street um, from the hospital. So we said, let's go there and see what they have to eat. So we go and they have a couple of restaurants. Excuse me. Different kinds of restaurants and stuff like that. Um, forgive my yawning. It's about 10 o'clock here. So it's getting close to my bedtime. Um... But anyways, um, I'm going to pause this and come back and finish my story in a minute.